All right, we've got Rob in Brooklyn. How you doing, Rob? How you doing, uh, Greg? Uh, I, I live in Brooklyn, but actually what I'm talking about is more of uh, Queens and Long Island because that's where we do our business. But okay. just as a general question, uh, um, we're, we own two businesses. We're veterinarians, and we own two hospitals, one in Queens, one in Long Island, and we're looking to basically expand now. Neither of the, property, the practices that we own that generate our cash now we own the real estate on. But as a general principle, I mean, I, I, I know a lot of people are talking about, like, the commercial crash sort of hasn't come yet and uh you know i don't know what your feelings on that are like if we're going to expand to smaller spaces should we just simply go and open up businesses and then you know use the extra money that we would be putting into a mortgage to like maybe invest in something like hud properties or or florida properties or something like that versus whether it's better to get into into commercial commercial yeah all right that's a good question i'm glad you asked glad you asked that rob because um people say real estate and they don't always specify which kind residential or commercial, because there's, there's a difference, all right? I focus on housing in my business uh, and my recommendations because housing, you know, I talk about small units also, you know, one family, right. two to four family, and condos. I don't get into big apartment complexes. And the reason is, is that the demand for a house is unique. There's nothing else quite like the, the factors that drive demand for a unit of housing that has a backyard, <laughs> okay? Right. People want that. They, they, it's wired into them that they want that. Commercial real estate comes back, for example, when businesses come back. All right, when businesses begin to expand, they then take on more space for offices, more space for their storefronts, et cetera. So the economy, it's like commercial is generally going to be a lagging indicator. When the economy has clearly turned the corner and companies are now putting the pedal back to the metal, you'll see commercial real estate demand begin to increase but residential real estate is, you know, we're talking about right now today, people are coming out of homes and still need to live someplace. It is like a business can say, I'm going to shut a store down and I still have my other store. You need a roof over your head. And so if there's a human being in this country, they want to live indoors, they're going to need a place to live. And so, listen, commercial real estate can be a phenomenal investment. Right now, my recommendation is to be looking at if your business can do better cash flow wise by having your your rent bill be lower and that'll right. give you some extra capital to do something else with that would give you a great opportunity to diversify and buy angelo's three family <laughs> when he got, when he sells right. it in the short sale um yeah, because there's, there's different demand thinking, factors there also because also the taxes on the commercial are, are just brutal especially on long island i mean they're just i don't even know how anybody can you know i mean the, the amount of between the mortgage and the taxes we'd be paying probably three times what we're paying in rent you know it's, it's yeah so the bottom line rob is that it's a different it's a completely different product different animal, you know yeah. it's a different animal and you're right the costs are higher the risks are higher because the demand is not as built in and everything that I talk about here is b- geared towards the idea that um, there's, there's nothing shaking the demand for housing in this country. So, Rob, I hope that helps. Thank you for the call. What I want to do is I want to welcome some of the new affiliates of the Own American Network. You're listening to Rand on Real Estate, which is brought to you by the Own American Network. We're proud to welcome our new affiliates this month, Century 21 Beggins in Tampa, Capstone Residential in Jacksonville, Cobalt Banker Preferred in Las Vegas, Remax Advantage in Las Vegas, ERA Real Estate throughout Central New Jersey, Cobalt Banker Coastal Alliance in Orange County, California, ERA Caputo in Nassau County, New York, Remax of Barrington in Chicago, Remax Properties in Colorado Springs, Remax Best Choice in St. Louis, Watson Realty Group in Jacksonville, and of course, Better Homes and Gardens, Rand Realty, my family business. If you'd like to bring the Own America Network to a town, a town near you, call us at 888-332-7722. We love the weekends as much as you do.